You don't shoot for a big brand every day, so where do you get the experience where you actually hang out? Um, well, yeah, you definitely don't shoot for a big brand every day, especially the first couple of years. Uh, it finally gets to a point where you get those constant clients, you get that recognition. Uh, the first couple of years, you get recognition from the footage you get, what you capture, and what you can show off in your reel. The, the more you're into it, the more you're in the career, you get recommendations instead. You get people that know and trust you because they know somebody that knows and trusts you. So um, uh, recently bigger roles have just been kind of going in there and then kind of showing your full on experience as whatever position you are and then helping the people below you with those experiences. Exactly, so I think that uh, going from not only smaller projects, but projects where you have more creative freedom, then you're able to bring that experience and that freedom to the set on those bigger ones. So, for instance, um, even if I'm doing a simple setup like this, it keeps the engines flowing, it keeps the things going. So I'm setting up a camera, I have a little light here, I have another one there, I'm doing a three-point lighting, one of the lights that I'm using is natural because it's coming in from the sun. So there is a whole setup going on. There's sound. Something is happening here where, where my creative engines, they're rolling, they're working, and that way I keep, I keep them oiled for my next big project. So, so it's always having something going. And Emmanuel, you're always doing stuff, and I see that. Uh, and that's, that's awesome, and I think that's... That's one of the reasons why when, you're, when you get called for a bigger gig, you go in with that same level of confidence. And that takes time. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's another way to do it other than it takes time. And for me personally, and I, and I, I do want to recommend that to everybody or at least um, tell you that and then you take it as however you want. Uh, we are not big followers of rules here but we give more of like at different advice to different people because each person's different but for me personally when I took an actual cinematography class and those are not easy to find uh, so I we I met them in Orlando and I lived in Orlando for seven years and, and being in Sao Paulo I actually found the class that I wanted because it's a bigger city it's more like New York when it comes to filmmaking and I took that class in cinematography and, and I learned the, the, the techniques and, and theory behind lighting and I think that gave me another level of confidence to bring to set. So yes, experience, yes, doing the smaller gigs, yes, doing short films, but also the theory is important and learning with the right professors is very important. So mm -hmm. that's just a really big thing. I would also say too, it's like learning things that aren't necessarily in your level, like in your area of expertise. Uh, as a camera guy, I know how important being a director is and I, I know how important being able to relate to the actor and telling them how to act and how to emote and how to feel. Uh, I know the importance of grip, I know the importance of safety. Uh, I know the importance of you know, even a crafty, just being on set and making sure people are fed. Uh, understanding these different roles and the different levels that they can you know, help the set and help things progress can really help you understand like you need these specific things per the shoot. Uh, I don't like going to sets without a gaffer. I don't want to be a gaffer uh, if I'm a DP. Like it's just too much. It's, it's a lot to handle and it's a lot of things that you have to think about. And understanding that and respecting that and having a professional with you to help you out and help your vision come to life is I feel like something you learn and you see as you go through all these shoots and all these sets and, and you progress to your career. Yeah, you just feel like you're like all the powers get together and get all the stuff done because there's no way you can do or care for, you know, acting and camera and lights and art direction, you know, like you, you miss something, so. It's a very big learning experience. Um, but out of that comes a lot of, you know, fun, fun times.